now give the floor to International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. You have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, distinguished panelists, for the very comprehensive briefings. International IDEA fully supports your efforts in furthering steps toward a solution to the crisis in Myanmar that was triggered by the military's unconstitutional coup in February of 2021. And it has been exacerbated by the military junta's persistent illegal and illegitimate claims to rule the country by force. We would also like to commend the efforts of the permanent representative of Myanmar to the United Nations, Ambassador Jo Motung, for his constructive approach to the work of the UN while upholding the spirits of the Charter and the basic values and principles of the organization. We would like to focus our comments on the situation of the Rohingya. The United Nations and human rights organizations have highlighted the dramatically deteriorating human rights situation of the Rohingya community remaining in Myanmar, where they are subjected to crimes against humanity by the military forces, increased restrictions on freedom of movement by the illegal state's administration council, and lack of access to adequate food, health care, livelihoods, and education. The only future of the Rohingya in line with the values and principles of the UN is their full return and reintegration to their homes. This is outlined in the commitments made by the Myanmar's legitimate interim institutions based on the Federal Democracy Charter. Two and a half years after the coup, the National Unity Government's efforts in translating its commitments to the Rohingya into action in consultation with the Rohingya community are worth noting. The NUG has recognized that this requires a coordinated approach involving multiple ministries within the NUG as well as genuine consultations with the Rohingya community. Moreover, the Rohingya community itself must be supported in its efforts to create institutional structures while ensuring that they are indeed inclusive and representative and build capacities to enable them to be supported while ensuring that they are, participa they are participating in the interim institutions currently discussing Myanmar's future constitution and federal system. We would also like to emphasize that any future democratic elections in Myanmar should only be held when the conditions are right and with the full inclusion of the Rohingya and other minority groups. Furthermore, elections organized by the military junta cannot be considered legitimate and should not be supported by the international community. Similarly, governance capacities in Rakhine State must be developed and its diverse communities prepared for the future reintegration of voluntary repatri repatriated Rohingya to ensure stability and foster social cohesion. The situation of the Rohingya demonstrates clearly the intrinsic linkages between democracy, human rights, non-discrimination, peace and development. Comprehensive and long-term responses are needed in order to ensure the restoration of democracy and rule of law in the country. Regarding our questions, our, the member states have already posed several of them. So I thank you very much. I thank the distinguished representative of International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. Colleagues, we have heard the last speaker.